Before being cast for Arrow, Stephen Amell was in decent shape, but once he got a hold for the script for the first episode of Arrow, he realized they needed to step up his workout routine. And so he did, going above and beyond for the physicality that he brought to the role of Oliver Quinn. But he made some big mistakes early on with his training that he would need to fix if he wanted to stay jacked for the long run. I'm Paris Demers, a full-time personal trainer and online coach, and in this video, I'm going to break down everything there is to know about Stephen Amell's training for Arrow, and I'll also give you everything you need to train just like him, including a full workout program based on his style of training. So before the pilot of Arrow was on Steven's radar, he was in decent shape, but nothing like what would come later. He would go on hikes, runs, and did some bodyweight training at home, but he really started to step things up when he got the script for the pilot episode of Arrow. There was very little direction for what kind of shape he needed to be in for the role, and the only thing he had to go off of was a single shower scene. The script for the scene read like this. Oliver emerges from the shower, shirtless, scarred, and fit. Like I said, that really wasn't much to go off of, but Stephen Amell took the word fit very seriously and spent the next six weeks getting into insane shape. When I say insane, I don't only mean that he looked insanely good, but also what he did to get into that kind of shape was also a little bit insane. Steven said himself that what he did originally to get ripped for Arrow was unsustainable, unrealistic, and kind of dumb. He would get so busy with work that he couldn't work out for a few days. Then when he would think about the fact that he had a shirtless scene coming up, he would train his ass off for four days straight, going so hard that he wouldn't even want to think about the gym for the next few days. This worked to get him into shape quickly, but it wasn't something that was sustainable, so he didn't stay in that peak shape for long. Since then, he's learned a lot more about fitness and has found a much more sustainable routine that allowed him to stay in amazing shape for the full eight seasons of Arrow. So what did Stephen Amell's training and diet look like for most of that eight season run? Well, he spent most of it training with Thomas Taylor, a martial artist and strength and conditioning coach. His training was a mix of functional strength training, Think things like TRX training, kettlebell movements, and conventional strength movements like barbell squats. And then he did a variety of different martial arts, mostly to help him prepare for the numerous fight scenes that would take place on Arrow. And then finally, he would do parkour workouts, which involved climbing, running, jumping, and tumbling. And of course, he would do a good amount of archery as well, seeing as, I mean, the show is called Arrow. Each week, he would typically do three full body strength and conditioning workouts. And on the other four days, he would do a mix of his parkour workouts, fight training, and archery. His program was always changing, but let's take a look at a sample week from an article posted on muscle and strength. You can see that each day he would do a variety of full body movements with different types of implements. He would use barbells, kettlebells, TRX ropes, nothing was off the table. We can really see with this program, there's a large variety of different movements that you perform. And this is because Stephen Amell didn't want to just look like an athlete, he wanted to be an athlete. In the show, he did most of his own stunts. And to be able to do that and not hurt yourself, he needs to be able to move properly through all different planes of motion. So that's his workout plan. But what did he do for his diet? Well, in terms of his diet, the main thing that he would do when it was time to get into peak arrow shape was he would cut out processed sugar, gluten, and dairy. This is a very simple way of cleaning up your diet because not only will you be limited to eating healthy whole foods, which are naturally more satiating and lower calorie, but also because gluten, sugar, and dairy can be inflammatory, meaning if you cut them out, that'll aid in your recovery and give you more energy overall. So if you wanna look like Stephen Amell, here's what I would recommend. Eat a high protein diet, where you eat just at maintenance calories or slightly above if you're thin and need to bulk up. Cut out or limit processed sugars, gluten, and dairy. This doesn't have to be forever, but it will definitely expedite the process of getting lean and shredded. Follow this three day a week functional fitness program that I designed based off of Steven's training and pick up an active hobby that you do two or three days a week. This could be hiking, rock climbing, going on long walks, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, whatever you want. It just needs to be something fun that'll help add more activity to your weekly routine. Thanks for watching guys. Leave your questions down in the comments. Like the video if you want to see more videos like this and subscribe for more celebrity fitness.